His knowledge won me over, and I knew that the kids, you know, we needed a change and a change of culture. While the leaves change from green to gold, the Westland Lions are playing like the golden boys of fall. Top five in the OSAA 6A power rankings. First year head coach Chris Miller wore the green and yellow of Oregon from 83 to 86. After a 10 year NFL career, Miller turned to the coaching game. I love coaching these kids, they're a lot of fun. Uh, you can mentor them and help them, you know, prepare them for life, for college, being a husband, being a father, and, and that's what I really enjoy. I think that's my calling in life. In two stints, Miller spent six combined years at South Eugene High. Then the NFL came a knocking. Then Wiz called me up 10 days after they lost the Super Bowl, and I'm like, why are you making a change at your quarterback coach? That QB coaching job was Miller's on Ken Wisenhunt's staff for the defending NFC champion Arizona Cardinals in 2009. And coach Kurt Warner, Larry Fitzgerald, they were just in the Super Bowl. Um, you know, that would be my first NFL experience. After the Cards cut ties with Wisenhunt in 2012, Miller was out of a gig. So back to the Axemen, he went. But the appeal of uncaging the Lions began to fill his mind and his phone. Two of my old former teammates uh, at Oregon, uh, Johnny Coppage and Bobby DeBishop, uh, reached out to me after uh, Coach Fanger resigned. and, and uh, so they kind of put a soft full court press on me, maybe a half court press to begin with. I told the guys, no, you know, I'm going to try to stay put, see if we can get something going down here at South Eugene. It would have only been my second year. And so then a couple weeks later, uh, I got like an 1130 text message and a call the next morning on Saturday. And it was Bobby DeBishop and Johnny Coppage again checking back in. Hey, C. Mill, you sure you don't want to reconsider? Reconsider he did. And Chris now leads a youthful pride of prideful youth. And we're young. You know, we're only starting one senior on the on offense and four seniors on defense, so the future is bright. Perhaps none are brighter than sophomore quarterback Tim Tawa. I pride myself on uh, academics, um, so I've kind of found that balance. I mean, it's still definitely hard. There are a lot of late nights with studying, playbook, and school. And whom better to learn from than a pro bowler who did it at the highest of levels. Nice decision on the, uh, on the lead pass. Yeah, I was ecstatic when I heard that he was hired. I knew he could helped me a lot for sure and he's definitely been doing that and I know that under him I'm definitely going to develop even more. I'm going to probably be the best quarterback that I can be. He's just got that it factor, you know, he's got that quiet leadership. Tawa, also a starting center fielder as a freshman for the three Rivers League champs in baseball, has nearly thrown a perfect game through the first five. 17 touchdowns to just one interception. That is payoff for learning how to read defenses from Coach Miller. You know, as a freshman, not, not much uh, complexity in defenses, but when you get to varsity, it's much different. Instilling that worker bee mentality, Miller deflects credit to the kids and his staff. One of the holdovers, a fellow Duck alum, defensive backs coach Alex Molden, an eight-year NFL career who went 11th overall to New Orleans in 1996. It's my job, I, I see it as a coach, to really give them enough information so the game slows down, not for it to speed up. I don't want them to be overthinking. Alex's son, Elijah, one of eight kids. We got 18 to just 10 months yesterday. Wow. And the sophomore is a chip off the old block. We call ourselves the Yellow Swarm, you know, like bumblebees. We, we swarm to the football. It may not be the gangrene secondary his father played for in Eugene from 91 to 95, but Elijah is a top flight cornerback who has also adopted tailback duties this season. And he already has an offer from those ducks. He's one of those kids when he has the ball, or if he's playing corner that you kind of stop and go, oh wow, there's something special about that kid. He doesn't want to just, you know, think that he's, you know, the best athlete or best football player in West Lynn or not even in Portland. He's thinking like bigger. And, and that's what I want him to do. It's like, you know, think think big, you know, yeah. why not? Our whole defensive back squad is pretty disciplined, so uh, it doesn't take him more than once to say something uh, before we get it right. These Lions seem here to stay. So too does Miller. Hey man, you can't start out better than 5-0. and oh. So you don't think NFL, when your old buddies calls you back some days to yeah. say, hey, we've got a gig? No desire for the NFL. You know, I enjoyed it, but I didn't love it. Uh, the grind's tough. I mean, you saw my buddy Gary Kubiak fall out last year with, with heart issues, John Fox in Denver. I mean, it, it, it takes years off your life. You know, it's a grind, and I'm not, I'm not opposed to or immune to work to hard work. Matter of fact, I learned how to work really hard in the NFL, and I, I take a lot of great experience from that, but I like quality of life. You know, we have six kids, and I enjoy spending time with them, my family, golfing, fishing, traveling, you know, enjoying this great earth we're on, and uh, not sitting in a, a room working on game plans, staring into a, a computer screen maybe for nine, ten months out of the year. Chris is currently renting an apartment while his family remains in Eugene. 
But Miller time plans on settling in for a long time in West Lynn. Good, good job. And it's a very motivated and driven competitive environment and, and I thrive on that and I got a great group of young kids so the future's bright and we're off to a pretty good start.